Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Harbor Station. Final game of the day and five TV One's coverage of the 2017 National Ball Hockey Championships, the Canadian Ball Hockey Association. The Newfoundland Black Horse in black gonna be tangling with their rivals, Team Manitoba in yellow. Told before the game by Manitoba Ball Hockey President Rudy Lepp, he's got a bounty out in the head of Team Canada GM Jeff Dickowitz for not being here supporting his Manitoba crew. This should be a good one tonight. Manitoba winless right now. And frankly, for the standings, this game means absolutely nothing. But I can guarantee you both of these teams are going to come hard in this one. Newfoundland and Manitoba will not want to lose to one another. I can certainly bet on that. Dylan Kelly moves the ball down to Remy Lawrencell. Lawrencell, shifty centerman for Team Manitoba. Lawrencell. Moves the ball across the floor. Finds Derek and Jarrah. Back for Lawrencell. Lawrencell winds, fires. That one whistles wide. Scott Bray getting the call in between the pipes tonight for the Black Horse. Manitoba, great pressure here early on. Ball is lifted out into the bench. And we'll have our first whistle of the game. Team Manitoba going to have to settle for fourth place. They'll have a date tomorrow with the Vancouver Falcons in the quarterfinals. Team Manitoba could probably be one of the better fourth place teams in the history of ball hockey. All teams tight. All bets are off for tomorrow when these teams face off against each other in quarterfinal action. Should be noted, Team Manitoba star forward Dustin Kelly on the way back, he'll be in the lineup for the quarters too. There's a chance right on, shot on goal by Clark Bishop. And a big save there. Nice feed from Black Horse's Nathan Yetman. A little lineup change here tonight. Looks like Nathan Yetman taking the spot of Nathan Knoll. He's gonna play with Bishop and Danik Martell. Yetman played on line with Martell over in the World Championship. Face off, one by the Black Horse. O'Keefe for Martell, Martell. He fires one, that's gonna whistle wide. Michael Dyke will pick it up on the other side. Dyke for O'Keefe, O'Keefe just chops that one down deep. Bishop, first to the ball down low. Clark Bishop, backhand pass. Finds Yetman, Yetman touches it. For Martell, there's a shot by Bishop is blocked. This line's got some chemistry here early on. Bishop, back to the point for O'Keefe. O'Keefe whistles one wide. Dyke's gonna come in and pick that one up. Martell all by himself in front of the net. One time pass for Bishop. He got a good shot on that one. Couldn't get it through. Comes in the squeeze. Here's a shot by Dyke. And the net is knocked off his moorings, fortunately for Manitoba, because that line had him hemmed in there. Manitoba goaltender Pat Ross. Going to have a little drinky poo after that one. That's a good shift for the Black Horse. No score, early going, first period. Newfoundland and Manitoba. Ball in the neutral zone, Team Manitoba chipping in deep. Tyler Moore gonna chase it down. Ball takes a bounce off the boards and goaltender Scott Bray will stop out and hold on to that one. They'll hold on for a faceoff. Him and his defenseman Alex Powell having a little chat about it. Faceoff will be to the right of Bray. Faceoff won by Manitoba. There's a shot by Moresti. That's blocked. Ball comes back to team captain Paul Castus. Castus fights to keep it in. Newfoundland with a chance to come away with it is Kevin Reed. Reed gains the blue line. Looking to put it in the middle of Connor Donahue. Good back check by Reed and Donahue. Ball comes back for defenseman Alex Powell. Powell turns that one over. Reed's going to come back and help out. Manitoba fight for it down low. Moresti, big shack. Moresti goes up and gets that one out of the air. You're not going to beat Moresti in a jump ball very often. The tall, lanky Manitoba forward. 
Ball comes out the other side. Here comes Brandon Bussey for the Black Horse. Bussey chips one up over the line to Kevin Reed. Reed spins away from a check. Reed looking to throw one in. That's gloved ahead, and that'll be called. Manitoba player number eight, Roman Nomic, looking to the referee. What are you blowing the whistle for? And the referee says, it's gloved ahead, big fella. Pace off will be outside. Team Canada bench bosses facing each other in this one. Head coach Ian Moore is over in Paradebiche and his assistant coach Ray Cook is the man in charge of the Manitoba squad. Probably wouldn't be too far out of line if I was willing to bet those two gentlemen might have a couple of beverages bet on this game. A few die Pepsis between two of them. 16-52 left to go in period one, early goings. Good scoring chances for both teams in the early part of this hockey game. Face off in the Black Horse end to the left of goaltender Scott Bray. Face off, won by Black Horse. Cody Donahue spins away with the ball. Donahue's got some speed. He's going to come up the left side. Donahue challenged by Kevin Marchuk at the line. Marchuk does a good job angling out Donahue. And the Newfoundland defenseman puts the ball in deep. Outlet pass from Manitoba. Roman Nomic, he puts it down wide. Donahue gets back stopped from Marchuk. Marchuk. Tries to spin to the cross. Joe Trenholm kicks it up, and away comes Patrick O'Keefe leading a rush. O'Keefe looking to make a high pass to Danny Wicks in the high slot. Wicks was there, just couldn't get it to him. Ball down low for Danny Wadden. Wadden spins, fires. Mason Reed is up there now. Sorry, he said it was Patrick O'Keefe. It's Mason Reed keeping that play going. Here's a chance for Manitoba. Dylan Kelly goes in, fires one right over the top. Ball down low. Ginjera fighting for it. Ginjera comes out. Nice save there by Bray and a good effort by Ginjera. Face off to the right of Scott Bray in the Newfoundland goal. Face off one. By Newfoundland, O'Brien chips one out to the neutral zone. That's going to be knocked down by Derek Weidel. Weidel puts it down deep. Defenseman comes back for his Dyke. Dyke chips it up for O'Brien. O'Brien, one on one. Wine fire scores! That one found its way between the five hole of Pat Ross. He's going to want that one back for sure. But Zach O'Brien. Opens up the scoring for the Black Horse on a shot from the left side and Newfoundland take a one nothing lead almost five minutes into this first period. <laughs> Drop the ball at center, face off. One by Manitoba, Tyler Moore. Sorry, that's Dustin Pearson goes back, picks it up for the Manitobans. He's going to leave it behind the net. Black Horse setting up in a little 1-2 forecheck. Long pass in the middle, knocked down by Alex Powell. Powell no. knocks it down again at the blue line. For Eskip, Eskip back for O'Keefe. O'Keefe shoots, scores! That one might have hit O'Brien in front. And Black Horse just like that. Bang, bang. It's 2-0. And this is not what the doctor ordered for this struggling Manitoba squad. As much as the game doesn't mean anything standings wise, you, you gotta be thinking Manitoba would like to get something going here and get some good positive momentum going into the playoff game tomorrow. Lots of time in this one, 15 minutes still remaining in period one. Martel chips it up to the line for Yetman. Yetman couldn't hold on to that. Here's the ball goes down way over the glass. That one's chipped up high. We'll have a face off inside. Good move there by Coach Ian Moores too. He's 
Made a little adjustment here. Nathan Yetman with some chemistry from Marcel. Martel, one of the few guys might be able to keep up with him too. Because Danik Martel can flat out fly. Long lead pass by Donahue. Finds Bishop. Bishop in alone. Shot on goal. Rebound there. Not there. But Pat Ross makes the save. Good save by Ross. Ball fired in deep. Manitoba picking it up behind the goal. Paul Castis moves it for his partner. Ball bounces out all the way to the neutral zone. Donahue. Donahue takes out his man. There's going to be a penalty there. That's an easy call for the official. That'll be a penalty all day long, any time. Luckily, the Manitoba forward is okay. He went into the boards pretty hard there. Now we'll see the team Manitoba power play, and you want one way to get back in the game? Here it is, on the PP. Face off in Newfoundland territory, backhanded out. Good job there by Kevin Marchuk climbing the ladder to grab that one. Back to the point for Shaq Moresti. Moresti shot his block. Marchuk couldn't stop it a second time. And Kevin Reed is coming down hard after Marchuk. Marchuk moves it aside for Moresti. Moresti, he's going to take it up the floor, leaving it for a partner though. A little bit of confusion there, but Lorenzell does pick it up. Here comes Remy Lorenzell. Over the line for Moresti. Finds Kelly. Kelly back to the point now for Marchuk. Marchuk for Moresti. Moresti is the trigger man, no doubt, for this Manitoba team up top there. Donahue chips it down deep, and Kevin Reed's going to go run it down again. Ross comes out of his net to play it. Reed is going to turn away and smartly heads back to the bench for the change. Clark Bishop's going to take his spot on this PK. Lauren Sell. Up to the line, Lauren Sell. Trying to bang one off the board. Patrick O'Keefe is there and he'll hammer it down. Manitoba, a little bit of difficulty gaining the zone so far on this power play. Lauren Sell, gonna fire it in himself. Lauren Sell almost first to the ball, but Patrick O'Keefe is there. He gets a stick on it and Black Horse once again fire it down the floor. Ross. Steps out of his net. He's going to move the ball up for Marchuk. Marchuk now. He's going to come up the neutral zone, but that's picked off by Bishop in the neutral zone. Ball dumped in. Now Alex Powell in a foot race with Shaq Moresti. Ball bounces off the boards, and Scott Ray will drop down and hold on. 17 seconds left to go in the power play. Manitoba down by two. 12.35 left to play in period one. Face off, won by the Black Horse, and that ball is cleared down the floor. That ought to do it for the power play. We see Donahue up to his feet. He's ready to come out of the box. Manitoba, one last foray down the floor. That one was offside, but yeah, we got a delayed offside call. That's what we thought. Icing going to be the call, though, as Newfoundland didn't realize the penalty was over. Team's back at even strength here. 12 14 left to go in period one. You're watching 5TV1's exclusive coverage of the 2017 Canadian Ball Hockey Association National Championships live from the Harbor Station in St. John, New Brunswick. From the draw, ball back to the point. Big drive off the stick of Sean Christensen. That one's deflected, goes up high. There's a chance out front for Manitoba. Christensen knocks it in again. Knocked down by Danny Wadden. Wadden's going to fire it down deep, and that is going to send Mason Reed in hard after the ball. Reed down low. Wadden giving him pressure. Reed trying to cause some trouble. Manitoba now will come away with it. It's Christensen. Christensen. He lays a ball up for Gingera. Eric Gingera funnels one to the net, but Bray's going to not have any of that. He will jump out and drop down and cover it up for the faceoff.
Ace off one by the Black Horse. Here's Bussy. Bussy. They try to high lob pass. Manitoba defenseman getting on his horse coming down the floor. That was number 73, Derek Whitehill. Ball comes out to the neutral zone. There's a drive off the stick of number 23, Thomas Hedges. Try to gander Newfoundland. That shot is deflected high up over the glass. We'll have a face off in Manitoba territory. Face off to the right of Ross. And the face off won by Manitoba, but it goes right to the goal. The referee going to drop it again. I believe he's throwing Bishop out of the face off circle. That means Nathan Yetman is going to step in and take a shot at it. One again by Manitoba's Sam Briscoe. Good job in the face offs by Briscoe. Ball comes to the point. Powell keeps it in. Ball's knocked down low for Bishop. Here's Bishop. Bishop on the side. Bishop takes a little bump. He's going to put it back for Yetman. Yetman behind the net for Martell. Here's Martell. Martell tried a cheeky little move behind. Ball ends up falling back onto the stick of Nathan Yetman. Yetman spins out. He's upended. There's going to be a penalty. And Black Horse is going to get their first power play opportunity of the game. And that is certainly not what the doctor ordered for Ray Cook's Manitoba team. Going to the box for two minutes to left. It's going to be Sam Briscoe. That's going to send the Black Horse to the power play. Face off won cleanly by Tyler Moore. But the Black Horse come away with it. Donahue going to leave it back for Martell. Martell quick pass down low for Marcus Power. Power almost couldn't believe his good fortune getting the ball that quick. Escott back to Martell. Martell for Donahue. Donahue in the slot to O'Brien. O'Brien on his wrong hand. Got to go back to the point for Martell. Martell to Donahue. Donahue to O'Brien. O'Brien steps out. Manitoba doing a good job closing up the scene. Here's Donahue. Cross feed pass for Power. Power for O'Brien. Back for Donahue. Donahue. He moves it out. For Escott now, Escott down low for Power. Power looking for O'Brien up top, nothing there, and the ball's cleared down the floor. That's a good tight defense by Team Manitoba. Manitoba doing a good job there, not allowing the Black Horse back into the zone. Bray's going to come out, move that up the boards for Escott. Escott walking up the floor with the ball, looking to gain the line. Here's Jordan Escott, finds it on the side for Marcus Power. Power for O'Brien, shot right on. Ross kicks that one aside. Chance for Manitoba to clear. Nice play there, and they'll just gently lift it down the floor. That was Dustin Pearson. Pearson looking pretty good in the back end for Team Manitoba here early. Here's Escott. Escott for Power. Power back for Escott. Escott on his backhand. He loses the ball outside. Escott. Quick feed for Martell. That one goes through Martell's legs, and that'll change the lines for Black Horse. After one minute and 49 seconds of the same unit on the floor, all in Manitoba zone for the most part. 8.58 left to go here in this first period. Newfoundland lead by a score of 2-0. Manitoba only shot away from tightening the vice, though. So it's probably important for the Black Horse with all this pressure to get that third one. Here's a shot right off the faceoff. And I can tell you one department where Manitoba's doing quite well in is the faceoff circle. Dyke. Long pass up the middle finds Kevin Reed. Reed. Up to the blue line, Reed takes it in himself. Ball's knocked back, kept in by Patrick O'Keefe. O'Keefe battling along the boards though. Reed's there to help out. Connor Donahue in a defensive position. Cassidy steps up for Manitoba. Nathan Knoll battling down low. Knoll takes it on the side now. He battles with Mac Hardy. 
of Manitoba. Here's Hardy. Hardy, good outlet pass there. That's going to send Manitoba down. Dylan Kelly, he can't get to the ball though, and Patrick O'Keefe's going to pick it up. O'Keefe trying to hit Noel, but Paul Castis steps up and takes it away. There's a long shot on goal off the stick of Callan Castis. Cal Castis, shot just drizzles wide. Here's Hardy now. Hardy moves it down low for Manitoba. Back for Marchuk. Marchuk not afraid to shoot, but Connor Donahue with his big shot blocked there. Ball comes down low for Castis. Callan Castis chipped out by Black Horse. And flooring is the call. Black Horse bench not a big fan of that one. As the Manitoba stick was pretty well kept parallel to the ball, he just chose not to touch it. 7.32 left to go here in period one. You're watching 5 TV One's coverage of the 2017 Canadian Ball Hockey Association National Championship from Harbor Station in St. John, New Brunswick. Team Newfoundland and Labrador, the Black Horse, up by two over Team Manitoba. Arm the face off, Manitoba control one more time. Christensen trying to keep it in at the line. Good job by Manitoba. Lauren Sell now down low. Lauren Sell, he's dangerous behind that net. Bussy's going to try to flush him out to one side. Lauren Sell chips one out, going to come back all the way to the line. Here's a shot, gets all the way through. Bussy's there to pick it up in front of the net. Ball chipped out to the neutral zone for Danny Wadden. Wadden on his horse. Got Mason Reed going to the net. Reed knocks it down. And that one bounces to the wall. Wicks down behind the net, looking to get it to Wadden. Good job by Wicks putting it low, but Wadden couldn't get to it. And away comes Dylan Kelly of Manitoba. Kelly and Bussy run into each other. That is two big lads there. Dylan Kelly, like a train off the tracks, he's coming large. Kelly keeps going. He fires it wide, but the shot is not on goal. Long lead pass now for Mason Reed. Reed has it. Reed. Good ball, putting it across. That one bounces by the Newfoundland bench. Kept in by Bishop. Bishop for Reed. Ball bounces out, and Shaq Moresti's going to take over for Manitoba. Moresti fires it down deep. Joe Trenholm going back, and that'll be an icing call as Trenholm goes back and touches up for the Black Horse. Face off is going to be to the left of Manitoba goaltender Pat Ross. Bishop steps in for the draw. Face off one by Bishop. Back for Donahue. Donahue drives one. Moresti took that one right off the bottom of the leg and he paid the price with that. Here's Trenholm. Trenholm through the neutral zone. Trenholm finds Bishop at the line. Bishop trying to gain the line. Can't get it in though. Ball bounces up into the bench. That'll be a face-off still in the neutral zone. Teams after settling down now, Manitoba getting into a little bit of a rhythm. And aside from two quick goals, pretty decent game here so far. Here's Martell. Martell had a little peek at Cody Donahue moving down the other side. Moresti loves that one now. Moresti puts it up high. He's going to launch it into the big score clock here at the Saber Station. And we'll have a face-off back in Manitoba territory. From the faceoff, Black Horse with possession. Martell fires one over the top of the net. Clark Bishop's there to pick it up. Bishop with a shot, he can't get to it. Bishop tries to leave it for Martell. Good job by Cody Donnie holding on there. That was Thomas Hedges, sorry. Hedges with a great job, puts it back for Donnie. Now it's Bishop. Bishop in the high slot. Bishop ran out of room. Good defense there by Manitoba. Manitoba trying to lead a rush now was 
Justin Metcalf, but Donahue matched him stride for stride. Metcalf now spins around. Here's a drive from up top, over the top of the net. Rebound there for Briscoe. Briscoe couldn't get some wood on it. Briscoe. He's got the ball over on the left side. Briscoe moves it to the high slot, but away it goes, and here comes Martell. Martell's got Bishop coming with him. Bishop for Martell, back to Bishop. Bishop back to Martell, and Martell's just leaning on the glass. He can't believe he missed that one. Danik Martell looked like he might have been saying a prayer to the glass there. Holy Mary, Mother of God, please let me score the next one. My goodness. Long ball comes down the boards now for Zach O'Brien. O'Brien chips it back for Power. Power out for Escott. Escott, good dive, keeps it in for Power. Back for O'Brien. O'Brien spin pass trying to get it to Power. Escott there. Ball comes to the line, but not out. Kept in momentarily by Dyke. But now comes Marchuk away for Manitoba. Zach O'Brien on the back check. Up for O'Keefe. O'Keefe elects just to fire it down the floor and clear the pressure. 4.08 left to go. Good action here. Team Newfoundland Labrador, the Black Horse, up by two over Manitoba. Long feed there from the stick of power. Power tries to pick it up on the wall, can't get it. Away comes Manitoba's Cal Castis. Castis puts one deep. Scott Bray comes out. He's going to play it up along the glass. Knocked down by Castis. Good shift here by Callan Castis. Back for Marchuk. Marchuk. He's going to put it back to the point. Fake shot, trying to find a shooting lane. Going to move it down the other side for Dustin Pearson. Here's a shot in the high slot. Rebound there. Couldn't get a stick on it. Good pressure here by Team Manitoba. Here's a drive deflected right on, and Bray had to be careful, and he'll drop down and hold on to that one for a faceoff. Interesting matchup here. Should Manitoba pull an upset and defeat Vancouver tomorrow, and if the Black Horse win their quarterfinal game, these two teams could very well meet again in the semi, depending on who wins and loses. So you can be certain that both teams' coaching staff gonna keep some mental notes in this one. Face off to Bray's left, Lauren Sell steps in for the draw against Donahue. Referees having some difficulty, lined them up. Face off, one by Manitoba. Here's Kelly in the slot. Kelly couldn't get a stick on that one. Chance to come away with it. For Newfoundland is Nathan Noel. Noel putting some pressure, but he couldn't get there. Ball comes out to the line, but not out. Donahue back for Reed. Reed fires it across for Noel. Noel's got Reed coming to the high slot. Noel looking for someone to open up. He's going to do a backhand pass for Kevin Reed. Reed under some pressure there from Whitehill. Reed throws one on the slot for Hedges. Hedges jumped in trying to get a stick on that one. No flooring on the play. Cody Donahue's gonna come back behind his own net and take it. Here's Donahue. Donahue, long pass, finds Reed up on the boards. Reed gonna leave it for Noel or Donahue. Donahue tried to get a backhand pass to Reed. Here's Lawrencell for Manitoba. Lawrencell feathers a pass across, looking to hit the stick of Derek Whitehill. Whitehill slid, just couldn't reach it. Ball chipped up the boards. Lawrencell holds on. Lawrencell back to the point. Winding shot pass in front. Lawrencell picks it up and Bray had to be careful there. Dylan Kelly almost had the ball on his stick right in front of the goal, just couldn't hold on to the rebound. And Team Manitoba in the last, say, seven to eight minutes have been playing very well. Scott Bray shutting the door for the Black Horse. Mason Reed, Danny Wicks. Danny Wadden stepping out. Wicks steps in for the faceoff against Tyler Moore. Once again, Manitoba though in the faceoff circle. You can say the play is pretty even back and forth. I know Newfoundland is on the board ahead. Manitoba dominating faceoff circle. 
See what happens this time. Moore versus Wicks. This time it's Wicks' turn. Always the broadcaster jinx. Patrick O'Keefe, he's going to float one out high. Most times that play works, but when you're trying to float it over the head of big Shaq Moresti, you've got to make sure it's real high. Ball comes down low. Dyke fights for possession with Moresti. Here's Dyke, Moresti using that big reach around. Moresti shoots it, rebound is there. And Bray drops down. Dyke makes a good job stopping Danik Levesque from getting a rebound. Face off is going to be to the right of Bray. Patrick O'Keefe has it. He's pressured right away by Tyler Moore. Ball comes around. Here comes Nathan Yetman. Yetman's got some room to move. Yetman's going to tip it in deep all the way into Manitoba territory. Yetman behind for Bishop. Bishop back behind the net now for Martell. Martell backhand pass to Yetman. Scores. What a pass. Oh my goodness. How in the world did Danik Martell put that pass there? Nathan Yetman just laid his stick on the floor and it hit it and bounced in. You will not see a better pass than that, folks. That was unbelievable. Nathan Yetman won't score any goal any easier than that one. Good job by Yetman to get in position. And you can see Dylan Kelly tapping his defenseman on the pad saying, hey, big fella, don't worry about that. That was an all-world pass there by Danik Martell. And the Black Horse lead three to nothing. Sometimes you just shake your head and smile. I know the Manitoba defenseman not smiling there, but he can certainly shake his head. Not much you can do about that. That's almost indefensible. 120 left to go in this first period. Newfoundland lead three nothing. Face off going to be to the right of Pat Ross. comes Lawrencell now. Lawrencell looking to answer for Manitoba the final minute of this first period. Lawrencell fires it around the board. Christensen stepping up. Manitoba activating their defense. Here's Lawrencell. Throws one across. Christensen's going to take it down low. Dylan Kelly starting to take up residence in front of the net. Yetman chips it out for Martell. Here comes Martell. He's off to the races. Martell in. Tips one up over the top of the net. Lawrencell did a good job trying to get to it. But you're not catching Martell unless you're in a cab there. Kept in at the line. Martell for checking again on Shane Gingera. Gingera moves it across and Manitoba gonna get a chance to bring it out without pressure. Here's Kelly. Kelly, that ball is knocked down at center by Zach O'Brien. Christensen gonna bring it over the line. Pass gets through, fires right on. Here's a chance for Manitoba. Big shot block there, two shot blocks by Brandon Bussey. And Bussey possibly saved the goal here. Only four seconds left. Marcus Power trying to work around a man. Power in out alone. Backhand and no shot on goal. And that'll do it for the first period. Newfoundland Black Horse 3, Team Manitoba, no score. You're watching 5 tv ones coverage of the 2017 Canadian Ball Hockey Association National Championship.
Big check, Moristi opens the scoring for Manitoba on the power play early in this second period. Only a matter of time before the big fella got one in this game. Manitoba looking to regroup now down three to one. See if they are getting any boy from that goal. Apologize folks for the lack of audio. Got to walk up and down about eight million stairs here in between periods. And for anybody listening knows me, I'm about 300 pounds. That's no easy task. Here come the Black Horse. Wicks driving to the net. That'll be stopped and held on to for a whistle. 15.43 left to go in the second half. 3-1 Black Horse. Face off, won by Manitoba. Moresti leads the rush up the floor, but that pass was a little bit behind. Levesque, he had to go back for it. Now Moresti will get it at the line. Moresti gains the line on the backhand, moves it up. Can't beat Bussy though. Bussy fires a backhand. Nathan Yetman's quick, but he's not that quick. That's going to go down the floor. Flooring will be the call. Face off will come back into Newfoundland territory. 3 1 Newfoundland, shot clock reading 12 12. And that's probably just about right. Pretty even game overall. First Newfoundland goal had a little bit of a uh, stinky cheese smell to it, but other than that, every goal has been pretty good for both sides. Here's Moresti. Moresti winds, fires, partially blocked by Bussy. Levesque picks it up. Coming down, here's a long pass for Martel. Martel. Tries to jump through, gets one step. Now as Moresti stretching out, long pass. Good job by Bussy. Bussy slid hard into the boards, and he looks like he's on a rowing machine trying to row the boat up the floor. There's Brandon Bussy. It's a wonder the boards weren't knocked down when he slid into it. Is it 
a little bit of discomfort coming up too. Is Bussy coming up lame? And I tell you what, Team Black Horse already missing Brad Yetman from the back end. They can't afford many more injuries. I know they're carrying some players here, but this week gets tough. As the week goes on, we see Bussy go right to the room and trainer David, don't call me Stanley Roper, goes to the room. Ball funneled to the net off the stick of Callan Castus. And Bray will drop down and hold on to that one for the faceoff. Lots of time left in this one. Just getting the breath back here, folks. Here we go. Escock got his stick tied up with Nomic behind the net. Escock fortunate not to be called there. Ball's flying down the floor. That's going to be flooring in a Newfoundland looking to just send stretch guys here. And that's, I can say, pretty un-Black Horse-like. They, they usually make a pass and go, but now they're trying for the long bomb. Manitoba are pretty solid defensively. They don't mind that happening. They've got some wheels in the back end, so they'll run down anybody. Back to the point now. Christensen. Christensen, no lane there. He's just going to fire it down low. Moresti trying to get some separation on O'Keefe. O'Keefe stands his ground. Out comes Trenholm. Trenholm. He's going to lay one up. That goes down deep. Yetman is going to chase that one down. Sorry, that's Power. Power chased it down, but Manitoba gets their fist. First long pass out for Moresti. Shaq Moresti all over the floor this game for Manitoba. I don't know if he's been off the floor since the period started. Christensen. He takes a bump on the boards. Now it's Escott. Escott. A bit of a feeble attempt to move that out. Ball goes down low and Marchuk picks it up. Manitoba pressing. Here's Marchuk. Down low behind the goal for Namik. Namik out front shot by Marchuk. Scores! Bray got a piece of it. And Marchuk makes no mistake from the high slot. And that comes from the lack of clearing attempt earlier and Manitoba right back into this one with 13.43 left to go in the second period. It's 3-2 for the Black Horse. A few smiles on the Manitoba bench now. It wasn't so rosy earlier on, but two unanswered goals have got the boys from Manitoba right back in this one. Face-off going to be just outside the Black Horse line. Just waiting for the official to drop the ball. I don't know if he realized the playoffs are starting here tomorrow, so he might want to drop it sometime tonight. A little bit of a disagreement there. I think the Black Horse player told him Rockies was closing at 10. The Manitoba player said no, 10.30. They didn't agree, so a little pushing and shoving. 13.40, left to go in this second period. Newfoundland lead by a score of 3-2. Reed, backhand pass looking for Donahue. Donahue can't come up with it. Noel there to pressure. And away comes Manitoba, two on one. Here's Remy Lawrencell, backhand pass. That one goes nowhere, Kevin Reed going to come away with it. Reed chased down by Lawrencell. Reed trying to chip it to the line but not out. Here's Dylan Kelly. Kelly snaps one. Rebound. Bounces to the slot. Kelly couldn't get a stick on that. And Reed will get a chance to come away with it for the Black Horse. Reed chips one deep. Nathan Noel going after it. Noel though just doesn't have the jump there tonight. If I didn't know any better, I don't know if the Black Horse were partaking in the Black Horse. Maybe I do know better. Here's Scott Bray. Bray comes out. He holds on for the faceoff. 12-41 left to go here in second period. 3-2 Black Horse.
Face off, one by the Black Horse. Ball to the neutral zone and out. Way comes Mason Reed now has it. Reed took a pass from Wicks. Mason Reed trying to spin away from a check. Here's Reed. Reed fires one through. That's blocked by Dustin Pearson. Pearson rattles it around. Danny Wadden's there to pick it up. Wadden in some pressure there. We got a penalty coming up. And I believe it's going to go to Wadden, and the Black Horse cannot stay out of the penalty box. And it is indeed Danny Wadden going to get a penalty. So Manitoba in an opportunity on the power play. Approaching the midway point of this second half. And things starting to tighten up in this one, folks. Manitoba on the power play. Lawrence L throws one to the middle to Kelly. Kelly can't get a stick on that. Ball is going to be cleared down the floor. Pat Ross pops it up for Lawrence L. Lawrence L. Gains the blue line. Nice quick pass there. Lawrence L takes it out. He's going to leave it up top. Almost mishandled that one momentarily. Donahue. A little bit disappointed with himself for not picking that one off. Here's Donahue now. He's got a chance to put it down the floor. Donahue puts it there. And that will send it down halfway through this penalty. Lawrence L. He picks it up, moves it up for Marchuk. Marchuk on the line. Nowhere else to go but there. Defenseman O'Keefe probably should have recognized that. Ball bounces out behind the net. Bray's going to drop down and hold on to that one for the faceoff. Faceoff is going to be to the left of Black Horse goaltender Scott Bray. Ball comes out to the point. Christensen puts one down the side. Manitoba with their number two power play unit on now, and that's still pretty good. Long pass, though. Christensen can't go to that one. Danny Wicks, he's going to pressure it all the way down the floor to Pat Ross. Ross comes out, and that's a good move by Wicks, pressuring that one. Penalty is over. Team's at even strength now. Wadden steps out of the box, and we get a whistle now. Faceoff will be in the neutral zone. 10-11. Halfway through this second half of play. Newfoundland 3, Manitoba 2. You're watching 5TV1's coverage of the 2017 Canadian Ball Hockey Association National Championship. Face off, one by the Black Horse. They look to fire it down for springing Nathan Yetman. Once again, the long stretch pass. Not working right now. Kelly, he fires one. That one comes off. Donahue gets a stick on that and clears it. Clark Bishop trying to bounce it out for Martell. Martell's off to the races. Martell in. Martell drops him back for Yetman. Wasn't ready for that one. And back comes Manitoba. Here comes Team Manitoba, Derek Gingera. He's battling down low with Dyke. Dyke is upended, and Gingera is going to take a penalty, and they're the ones that bother coaches. You take a penalty 200 feet from your net. Dylan Kelly going in to have a little chat. 
about it, and that's classic Dylan Kelly. Smart hockey player. People don't give him enough credit. He actually, I think he knows everything he does on the floor. Always calculated. I like him. 9.34 left to go in the second half. Black Horse going to go to the power play. And it's pretty much been all Manitoba for this second period. And maybe even the last five minutes of the first. Manitoba out shooting the Black Horse now. 15 to 12. At one point the shots were 9 to 3 Black Horse. Face off. One by Manitoba. That's going to send down. Scott Bray is going to drop that one out. That one bounced out in front of that a little dangerously. Jordan Eska calmly takes it and comes away with it. Eska up to the line. Don't have it. Now they get the line. Martell will take it. Martell back for Escott. Escott's going to leave it for Martell. No, Escott throws it down low for power himself. Back door for Donahue. That was a big save there by Ross. Manitoba bench not even reacting. What a save by the goaltender there. Martell for Escott. Escott down low out in the slot for O'Brien. O'Brien shot a stop by Ross. Escott tries to feed it in for O'Brien again. Donahue back for Martell to Escott. Down low for Power. Power kicks it back out for Escott. Escott shot. That's blocked. And the ball is going to be offside. Good effort there by Donahue. He comes out. He does the baseball slide into second base, but he can't clear the zone. That'll be offside. Black Horse going to change up the power play unit here with 56 seconds remaining. We're going to see the line of Donahue, Kevin Reed, and Nathan Knoll take up residence on this power play. Face off all the way back in Black Horse territory. One by Manitoba in the theme. There's a shot right on. That one just drifted wide. Noel picks it up. Noel. Talks to Dyke. Noel's going to bring it up the floor. Dyke will move up to the line. Nathan Noel sees an opening. He's going to bring himself. Noel for Dyke. Dyke. Aaron pass for Noel. Good job here by number 76, Dustin Pearson of Manitoba. Pearson, though, loses it out on a second effort from his knees. Was Donahue, Connor Donahue, trying to get one out but couldn't find the home. 23 seconds remain here in this power play, 7.57 in the second half. 3-2, tight game here, Manitoba, Newfoundland. Face off, one by Kevin Reed. Reed just couldn't get a stick on it though. Now Reed fights for it for Black Horse. Reed trying to get away from the check of Matt Hardy. Castus in from fighting Reed. Now Connor Donahue takes it. Donahue goes back to the point for O'Keefe. Here's O'Keefe, back for Donahue. Donahue out high to O'Keefe. O'Keefe fires one in low and wide. Picked up there by Matt Hardy. Manitoba player out of the box now. Teams at even strength, Kelly. Hits Lawrencell with a pass. Lawrencell trying to come up around Dyke. Lawrencell and Reed go shoulder to shoulder down low. And O'Keefe, sorry, that O'Keefe moves it to the other side. He chases down Lawrencell. Lawrencell picks the ball first. Pass out for Dylan Kelly. Kelly can't come away with it. And here comes Connor Donahue for Black Horse. Donahue to Noel. Noel chips it up to Donahue. Donahue's upended by Hardy. And going to be another penalty here. Donahue and Hardy having a little chat about it. I'd say Connor's probably asking him what's his favorite U2 song. 7.03 left to go in the second half, and Black Horse going to get another opportunity to the power play. Manitoba sort of snipping any momentum they had with these two last penalties. Face off one by Escott. Back for Cody Donahue. He's going to leave it for Martell. Martell to Escott. 
Escott out to Martell. Escott down low now for O'Brien in the high slot. O'Brien couldn't get to it. His power's pass just a little bit soft. And Manitoba managed to close the gap. Martell going to bring it up the floor. Martell backhand pass for Escott. Escott gets the carry it over the line. Escott in some trouble there, though, and a good job there double teaming. And Danik Levesque is going to fire it down the floor for Manitoba. Manitoba, Newfoundland, always a great matchup here at the Canadian National Championships. Martell going to take it down and dump it in himself. Martell takes a bump from Christensen. Martell fires it behind the net for Power. Power is going to rim it around the boards for Escott. Escott picks it up. Comes back for Cody Donahue. Donahue down low for Martell. Out top for O'Brien. O'Brien's going to put it back for Martell. Back for Donahue. They're going to want to switch spots here. Newfoundland power play just a little bit disjointed right now. Marcus Power for O'Brien. O'Brien tries a cheeky little shot there, and he's not going to get that one through. 49 seconds remain in the power play. And Coach Moore is going back to the Donahue line. Seen a lot of guys just standing on the bench. A lot of good talent down there, too. 5.52 left to go here in period two. 49 seconds in the power play. Face off, won by Manitoba. Good draw there by Tyler Moore. Moore's been very strong in the face off circle tonight for Manitoba. Here's Dyke now. Dyke. Stop, settle things down. Mike Dyke going to drag it out for Patrick O'Keefe. O'Keefe puts it down for Noel. Noel back for O'Keefe. O'Keefe to Dyke. Dyke, one time drive. That's blocked by Moore. Dyke to O'Keefe. O'Keefe drive. Another shot blocked there. Chance for it in the high slot, though. Dyke steps in and keeps it alive. Noel back for O'Keefe. Manitoba players certainly not afraid to drop down and put their body in front of one. Reed tries to put a one-time pass out for Connor Donnie in the high slot. That's going to do it for the power play. Five minutes remain. Black Horse coming up empty in the last two power plays. And Manitoba now back to work five on five. Here's a chance for Manitoba's Nomic, Roman Nomic. Got Marchuk looking for it in the high slot. Bishop back in good defensive position was Derek Clark Bishop. Moves it up the floor for Martell. Martell back for Bishop. Beautiful pass for Bishop. Bishop had the ball roll off his stick. Bishop now behind the net with it. Bishop looking for somebody to open up out top. Bishop to Martell short side. Backhand for Bishop, scores! Clark Bishop walks out behind the net. And he puts that ball where Millie hides the Jam Jams. And it's 4-2 Black Horse. Manitoba with a little over four minutes left to try to get back now. That's a big goal for the Black Horse there. Manitoba now need a quick strike to get back into this one. Justin Metcalf working hard down low. Metcalf's going to take it. He fires it, but it's deflected. That's going to go high into the stands for the faceoff. Face off one by Manitoba. There's a shot from Hardy. Mac Hardy fires one, but Scotty Bray is going to drop down and hold on to that one for the face off. From the draw, Manitoba looked to get a shot out. Can't do so, and away comes Newfoundland. It's Thomas Hedges. Hedges moves one up. Pass gets to the line, but not in. There's a big poke check there by Connie, Connor Donahue. Yeah. 
Black Horse coming back in now on a rush. Here's a shot. Black Horse player just got drove into the boards. He's up. He's okay. That's the main thing there. And play continues. That was Danny Wadden. I don't know if he got hit that hard. He might have been just running that hard when he slid. He probably slid eight feet from his momentum carrying him in. 338 left here in the second half. And the Newfoundland Black Horse lead 4-2 over Team Manitoba. Black Horse, O'Brien. Spins out in the high slot, shot by Power. Power shot rattles wide. Manitoba now with a chance to come away with it. Battle for it down low. Bossy, seen him leave earlier after going. Sorry, he's not Bossy. We haven't seen Bossy come back after going hard into the boards earlier. Here's Christensen. Christensen. Moves it down low, there's a shot, yawning cage in the side open, that shot came from Callan Cassis and we're gonna have a penalty. I believe it's in the front of the net, a holding penalty called. Gonna be to Patrick O'Keefe, I believe, just by looking at the conversation he's having with the official. And Patrick O'Keefe does not need directions to the penalty box. With 2.55 left to go here, 4-2, Manitoba gonna go to the power play. Here's a shot right from the point. Bray comes out and sprawls on top of that one. And just having some quick math here. I'm looking at the standings. If the game was to win right now, Newfoundland obviously finishes first in their division, but I'm looking ahead to a semifinals and should all the top seeds win, so that's assuming if Vancouver would beat Manitoba and Newfoundland would win their, that game. I believe Vancouver would actually have the top seed and Newfoundland would finish second because the goals against is not as good as Vancouver's. Newfoundland scores one more goal, then it gets interesting, then they're actually tied. Have to go down the old tiebreaker list. But there's a big save by Scott Bray, never mind win by two. That almost got cut in half there off the shot of Moresti. Moresti's already got one power play goal tonight. He was looking for another right there. Remy Lawrencell digs in for the faceoff. That one's won by Reed. Ball comes to the red line and out. Kevin Reed steals that one. Pat Ross comes out, makes a play. Reed gets tangled up with the goaltender. But Ross makes a good play to get it out. Manitoba trying to get it in deep. Connor Donahue's there, and Brandon Bussey indeed is on the floor, but he turns it over. Chance for Lawrencell. Moves it out to Moresti. Goaltender coming to the bench for the extra attacker for Manitoba. Lawrencell down low, buying some time. Going to move it out to Moresti on the point. Moresti's going to take it out and try to create some time and space. Manitoba, six on four here right now. Down low, out in the slot. Dylan Kelly shot. Nice save there by Scott Bray off the blocker. Bussy fighting for it down low. There's a shot short side. Bray sprawls out and he holds on to that one. Bray, pretty sharp there in between the pipes for the Black Horse. Little conversation going on between Bussy and it looks to be Derek Gingera for Manitoba and they'll separate. Still 55 seconds left to go in the O'Keefe penalty. 149 in the period. Manitoba with the goaltender pull and we've got a timeout call here. Paul Castis going to the box. Not sure what that's about, if they left something there. Or... Oh, it's sticking the penalty box. You might need that ball. 4-2, Newfoundland. 149 left to go.
Pace off to the left of Bray. Lawrencell wins it clean. Back to the point, Moresti faked the shot. He's gonna take it and move it out to the other side. Moves it over for Gingera. Gingera throws it down low for Christensen. Dylan Kelly parked in front of the net. Big man to move out of the crease area. Back to the point for Marchuk. Marchuk slides it for Moresti. Moresti, wine fires, and Bray sees that one coming all the way. Little slash after the play there, hit Donahue in the back of the leg. I'm pretty sure Donahue probably did something before that happened though. 32 seconds left in the power play. Face off. One by Martel. Martel out on the penalty kill here. Donahue fighting hard. Ball is chipped ahead. Martel chips it out and gets it by. Nathan Yetman coming hard down at Marchuk. Trying to force Manitoba into making a rush pass, but Marchuk with a wily veteran move waits for him. Here's a chance for Powell to clear it out. Powell. Gets it to the line, but not out. Moresti has it. Moresti shot deflected by Bussy. That one goes down behind the goal. Powell fighting for position, and Scott Bray is going to drop down and hold on to that one. Newfoundland has killed off the penalty. Interesting to see if Manitoba are going to leave the net empty. Not much to lose, though, for Manitoba, I guess. They'd like to score another one, get that good feeling going into tomorrow for sure. Face off, one by Manitoba. Moresti gets one through. Three Manitoba players in the crease. Just couldn't get a stick on the bouncing ball. Manitoba with some great pressure here at the end. Throwing a lot at the net, but they can't beat Scott Bray late. Here's a chance in the slot. That one's blocked by Martel. Martel comes away with a behind the back pass for Bishop. Sorry, that was Marcus Power. Power misses the yawning cage. Power misses it again. What am I saying, Bishop? He wouldn't miss that one. Here's another shot deflected. And I don't think Newfoundland realized how important that empty net goal is. And they might give one up here. Two on one for Manitoba. Kelly winds, fires, shot right on. And Bray stops that one with one second remaining. And that's going to do it for this one. The Newfoundland Black Horse going to run the table in the round robin. They will beat Team Manitoba. By a score of 4-2. Playoff matchup set up. Manitoba will tackle Vancouver. Newfoundland will take on Saskatoon. New Tech Ontario will take on the host. New Brunswick St. John Most Wanted and the Brampton Midnight Express will tangle with the Edmonton Savages. Good night from the Harbor Station. 5TV1 will be back with its continuing coverage of the 2017 Canadian Ball Hockey Association National Championships on 5.